So I'm still sitting in the villa, this time talking to Devon, who is the GM of Alphonse Island Fishing Company. Been here 12 years, guided for eight. He now runs all the sort of water sports, fishing, guiding. First, let's talk about some species because I think the Seychelles is almost unique in its depth of species that you can catch on a fly rod. Yeah. Um, so starting with the easy stuff, bonefish, we had amazing bone fishing yesterday in a 20 knot wind, in the rain, we were catching tailing sighted bone fishing. Yeah. It's, it's off the charts. The bone fishing is the bread and butter and yeah. I always go back to that as the, that's the reason you, you should be here. It's because of the incredible bone exactly. fishing. Exactly. And, and you know, Toby and I were saying, I'm not sure, I think anywhere else in the world we wouldn't have been fishing yesterday. Yeah, it would have been a blowout. And yet we had world class fishing. Yeah. So um, permit, you may catch one, you may not. It won't be um, your fault, it'll be the fact that the permit don't it's want to bite. Permit being a permit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, there are GTs and you're having a good GT year this year, aren't you? Yeah, it's actually one of our better years for the GTs around Alphonse. Um, taking it into, into account where the entire um, operation uh, Cosmolito has been firing. It's, yeah. been, it's obviously the GT capital. Yeah. But, um, the fishing around Alphonse has been phenomenal. Yeah. Um, it's actually surprisingly good with uh, the amount of uh, time and effort we've put into closing certain areas up, the GT tagging program, making sure that we manage the, the fishery properly. It's actually showing now that um, they're still there. Yeah. And um, take it 10 years back, um, the results are still very much the same. Absolutely. This must be the milkfish capital of the world, Alphonse itself. 100%. I mean. um, Obviously the first milkfish ever caught on fly was here and then uh, it, uh, pioneer anglers like Anna Matia and Wayne Aslo, they, these oaks figured it out and they made sure that um, yeah. it stuck and um, yeah, the, the process has gone, well it's actually got to a point where we now can actively target milkfish as a, it's a, it's a known species to go yeah. for. It's not just if they're out, you go for them. It's actually, there's, there are options where you can yeah. find them, whether they're feeding on the flats or um, daisy chaining offshore, they're always around, they're yeah. always here. Yeah. And um, trigger fish, um, interestingly, I mean, when I first came here in 1995 and lived on Tam Tam in the middle of the lagoon, we didn't even fish for triggers because we didn't know they could be caught. We certainly yeah. didn't fish for milks, but I mean, trigger is now a species that people want to catch and they've started catching them on Christmas Island because mm. of the Seychelles. They've yeah. even started catching the Bahamas because of what people have learned mm. in the Seychelles. So that's another I primary... I think the trigger fish is uh, it's, it's such a unique fish where people end up making that their favorite targeted species. Um, and it's the unknown. They yeah. arrive here not knowing that you can catch a trigger fish. Yeah. Um, once you get your first experience or your first follow or your first um, sort of uh, layout, you, you realize that this is, this is quite... Yeah. quite uh, and when you hook one, you get a nasty shot. But they're unbelievably strong. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so coming back into the lagoon, there's a whole lot of species which many people won't know. Bluefin trevally, boha snapper, various groupers, all of which pull a 12 weight extremely hard. That's why we always recommend having a spare 12 weight line in your backpack because you, you end up um, catching, the, the diversity is just mind blowing. Some of these big reef species are um, extremely powerful. They take you, they, they clean you up quite quickly. They, um, they get you in the coral and you'll be amazed how much fun you can actually have just we call it species bashing. You just go and catch whatever swims. Yeah. Um, on a dead low when there's no movement, uh, have a quick lunch and then, then throw a couple of flies over the yeah. edge. It's good fun. No, it is good fun. Well, great. Thanks. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for, yeah. No problem. <laughs>